We are doing a little crew cuts here with my man Sean Mahoney in from uh, Spain. And yeah, a longtime friend of the Knowledge Bowl Eyed, sitting at the throne of power. And we have another VIP with us today, and that is one Roberto Vargas. He is the man, the myth, the legend. The, the meteorites are falling into his pocket. They're tracking him. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> seriously. It's possible that Roberto is the center of the universe because he seems to have his own gravitational field. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your last couple of days, buddy. So, um, as some of you may know, I flew to France. There was a there was a fireball that was tracked from space. It was asteroid uh, 2023CX1. Uh, uh, it was tracked like eight hours before it actually landed. And it ended up falling in uh, St. Pierre La Verge in uh, Normandy, France. So I flew out there with uh, Steve Arnold. We spent about uh, a little less than a week uh, hunting that. And like three days after we got there, uh, Steve and I were gridding a field and we had decided anything that we grid that we're searching like side by side, we're gonna um, split 60, 40, 60 to whoever finds the piece and 40 to whoever. Oh, cool. I don't know, like sat That's there and watched. Awesome. 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 Very, very cool. cool. Nice. <laughs> so, so Steve actually found the piece. Uh, he, was, he was just a couple of feet from me and it was a, it was a field that Steve and I had driven by a couple times and been like, we should check that field. And then finally, it was like the end of like day three. We were like exhausted. We were ready to go home. And we were like, why don't we check? The uh, I'm not sorry. Please. <laughs> why, why don't we check? Why don't we check that field? So we went and we checked the field. And like 20 <laughs> minutes into it, there was just there was a, a hole that went straight down. And Steve saw it, and and all you could see was fusion crust at the bottom of that hole. Oh, oh wow. my god! Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So so I like tackled Steve with like a giant hug. We were just like, <laughs> it was it was it was exhilarating because this is this is only the third time that. So I think seven times we've known that something was going to impact us, but only two other times have we actually recovered anything. The first one was right. Omaha Sido, and then the second one was uh, Motapi Pan or something like that. It was in Botswana, uh, but none of that ever made it to market. Uh, so this is only the third time that meteorites have been recovered from that type of event. This is actually the meteorite that Allison, or the asteroid and meteor event that Allison talked about in our last hangout in the intro. Allison uh, introduces us to this uh, asteroid and uh, and it's amazing because at that time we're saying Roberto's on his way. We're like wishing you luck <laughs> at the same time. Yep. 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 And again, yeah. this time, so congratulations on the one in France and then back down in Texas that what, triple back 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 that's well amazing. i didn't get i actually didn't get anything in texas um so i got back from france last night and uh i found out two days ago that uh another piece of muskogee had been found and it was a mm -hmm. hammerstone and mm -hmm. it actually uh took the title of main mass mm. wow so uh I got back I got back from France yesterday and the guy called me after I landed and was like, Hey, uh I'm willing to sell if you're willing to buy. And I said, Sure. So I took a two hour nap and flew down to Oklahoma. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now this is late, late and breaking information here. Um, we are now going to go to a interview that I had no time to prepare for in the middle right. of my work day. <laughs> but uh, let's, I, I was so thankful that you included me in this, man. I, I'm glad we have a partnership and we're working together because this is something really cool that's going to bring out our strengths. Appreciate it. Cool. The world premiere of the Muskogee Main Mass Hammerstone interview. I'd like to introduce uh, Brad <laughs> and Jolene Ward. Hey, guys. <laughs> Fantastic to meet you. This is absolutely amazing. We live for this type of thing. You know that, right? <laughs> That's what we hear. <laughs> I am super excited to welcome you to welcome you to, to the uh, Topher Spin Meteorite channel on YouTube. 
and uh, you guys are the latest humans to be impacted by a meteorite. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. You guys uh, are, live in Muskogee? Yes. And how long have you lived there? Uh, 20 years. 20 years. That's great. Wow. Uh, I, I actually sell technology for a living. I, I sell meteorites for a hobby, but one of my clients is a Muskogee Creek Nation. So I've been selling them computer technology through their health division for quite some time. Um, what? Tell me how you came across this, because you obviously heard about the event. It's been on the news. People were in, like Roberto's been hunting. When did you first become aware that there's a meteorite event and you might be involved? Well, we, we knew about it uh, when it happened, and we never, we never thought much more about it. Uh, hmm. Then we were in the barn with our horse. You were having our horses, the shoes put on our horses, and my wife looked up, and she said, where'd the hole in the roof come from? She said, well, maybe it's a meteorite. We just kind of joked about it and left it at that, and that was January 23rd. Hmm. On Saturday, uh, February the 18th, I climbed up on the roof to see what it was going to need to be fixed. <laughs> and that's when I found the, the piece sticking up out of the roof. Wow. There was actually a, a hunk of the meteorite still embedded on your roof? Yes. Yes. This is the amazing. Big, the big piece was still stuck in the metal. And the smaller piece was just laying down on the edge by the guttering. Wow. So now I don't know if you're familiar with meteorite terms or not probably talking from Roberto. You've learned a few like main mass. This is yes. now, yes. yeah, you guys, the temporary holders of the main mass of Muskogee. That is amazing. Uh, there was one part of it on top of the roof. And I think that weighed just over 300 grams. It was the big piece was 330 grams and the piece laying on the roof by the guttering was 58 grams. Wow. And they fit together pretty snugly with nothing else missing, you think? Oh, there's, we found a whole lot more fragments this evening when we were up on the roof. Oh, uh, nice. Inside the, inside the guttering. So, oh, Roberto wanted us a magnet to get all of it out of there, so. Oh, please do. I know Roberto's not going to let you leave anything in there, man. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys have hooked up with a, a rock star in the meteorite world, Roberto Vargas. I don't know how humble he's been with you guys, but he just got back from Normandy, France, collecting the freshest asteroid track to his pocket. So you, you guys are, are, are really, really interesting, uh, an interesting story. And I think that you guys, did you guys make the local news at least? Does anyone else know about this? Uh, well, the, the, we just stuck it out there on the, the Muskogee page of Facebook, you know, and, and that's how, we got into contact with Roberto, so. Wow, fantastic. Well, I've been hosting um, wow. Meteorite Weekly Hangouts. Today is gonna to be our 143rd in a row. It happens every Wednesday. And I am so glad that I'm be able to share your story with, with the Knowledge Light crew and also with the whole world on YouTube. It's a very, very fascinating story. Was there anything else that, that you were just that you wanted to share that you were surprised about during this so whole Topher, So the last meteorite to fall in Oklahoma was in 1970, which was mm -hmm. 53 years ago. And that was the Lost City meteorite. Uh, Jolene here actually has a connection to that meteorite. So the Lost City meteorite, that's where I come from, is Lost City. And my great uncle, which would be my grandfather, my papa's brother, found a piece of that. Wow. So. How I don't know what the odds of that happening that you'd have two meteorites hit in Oklahoma 53 years apart and the same family be connected to it, but it is wow, astronomical. That is hey, Roberto, do you know how many pieces of Lost City there are? Because it's like uh, a not, not a whole bunch. Lost City oh, was, a, was a relatively small fall. If I'm wow, not and yeah. same thing with Muskogee so far. We're sitting at under a kilo and a half, roughly. Uh, yeah, 1.3 1, 1. kilos. Wow, and you were able to, uh, to to find the previous main mass. Now this main mass. Yeah, this this one took this one took the title. Yeah, um, I would love to see the Ward's barn roof and sure. what you guys have done there, man. So that was where it was lodged in the roof. Uh, he took a sawzall to it, and it's actually two panels, and that's why I didn't punch all the way through. 
Um, if it had just been one panel, it would have punched all the way through. And this is where they keep their horses. Because there were two, it was where two connect. It was still in there when he went up there on the 18th. He took that down. And that's where, that's a small piece, the 58 grammar. And then that is the 330 Whoa. grammar. And, yes. uh, and when I got here, we actually, uh, Brad actually went on the roof to, to kind of show me the, the impact pit. And while he was up there, he found like uh, a gram and a half, two gram piece, almost like fifty percent fusion crusted, just laying on the roof. So at that point, I said, "Let's get a magnet up there. Let's fish out any yeah. any pieces that might be in the gutter. We got a good couple grams out of that gutter um, wow. that also belong in there." But just to give you an idea, these two pieces pretty much account for the whole stone mm -hmm. oh that's, my god yeah wow. so maybe like that's missing and a little bit along the top so we pretty much recovered all of it i'm pretty sure that is fantastic wow i'm blown away remember i do work for crumbs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That is a great, great story, and I'm so glad that you were able to to share it with us, and then go up there and and, and do some more recovery yourself. Fantastic! Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I really thank you guys for uh, for making the deal with Roberto for sharing this with the world because. Obviously, with the, with the connection you guys have to the previous Lost City, you understand the history of meteorites and how important they are to us bunch of weirdos well we're that bunch of weirdos <laughs> <laughs> that's right uh, and uh i'm actually proud that now i have uh interviewed two different hammer families you're you're a hammer family now by the way okay uh, yeah the winchcomb fam uh, the winchcomb meteorite hit the wilcock family in the uk that was about two years ago and i and i was able to interview them as well so now you guys are our, my second so thank you very much really appreciate it you're welcome well, thank you yeah. And uh, Roberto, we're going to rely on you to capture as much video and photographs as you possibly can and share them with the crew. OK, I'm on it, man. Awesome. I, I told you you're crushing it. This is your this is not just your years, your decade. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you for uh, taking the time to meet with us, man. Absolutely. I'm glad I, I got to get back to work now, but thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, Brad, and, thank you. Brad and thank Jolene, you. thank you so much. Feel free to contact myself or Roberto anytime, okay? Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Cool. Go nuts, guys. Enjoy. That's fabulous. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. My face hurts from smiling. Spectacular. <laughs> Solid wow. gold. Oh, wow. Geez. Nice cool. texture. Nice. How does the magnet like it, Roberto? It's uh, it's light. It's a light pole. It's not not very strong. Enough to say there's something there. Nice uh, rainbow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Enough to help you find pieces. Oh yeah. It belongs in a museum. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, oh, man. Thank Doesn't you. Doesn't that come on? You have that. <laughs> Sweet. I am super impressed with the amount of effort, energy, expense, and time, and dedication, and devotion you've spent to meteoritics in the last few years. Yeah. But you've had some amazing, amazing successes here in the last few months, and they're successes that the world is taking notice of. I mean, Muskogee and Normandy, France, man, alive, dude. You're crushing it. And not to Thank mention you. the amount of dedication me tries have to you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, I'm super guys. I'm super glad that you reached out to the knowledge bowl and into me to share the information with and let us uh, break this world exclusive. Uh, the new Hammerstone the main mass of Muskogee. Thanks a lot, Roberto. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Fabulous, Roberto. Awesome, yeah, man. Very cool.